So My Hero Academia has a lot of interesting characters, right? But not all of them are in the My Hero 1 Justice series. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing another episode of the How They Can Work series. In this series, we look at characters that are not in My Hero 1 Justice 2, and we try to break them down to create movesets for them, so hopefully one day they will become a playable character. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about Moonfish, a member of the Vanguard Action Squad of the League of Villains. So I definitely think Moonfish would be a really cool addition. Um, I think he is one of the most deadliest villains in My Academia, in my opinion. During the Vanguard Action Squad's like attack on like the training camp, when we saw Moonfish fight, it looked like he had full control over his quirk, and his quirk is pretty deadly. On top of that, um, during the Shiai Saikai arc, um, I remember at the beginning of it when Shigaraki was meeting Overhaul for like the first time, and Overhaul mentioned to Shigaraki, like, what do you do after you like gather your forces? Like, do you have a plan? And then he mentioned staying muscular and Moonfish, and him mentioning Moonfish kind of like reconfirms my theory that Moonfish is like well known as like a deadly villain. Like, if Overhaul knows about Moonfish, he must be like a really deadly like villain. And he also said that he was like a first class like game piece. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely think Moonfish is like a really deadly villain, and I think he'd be a really cool addition in My Hero 1 Justice 2. So, in the My Hero 1 Justice series, each character usually has a normal attack, a red attack or an unblockable, a yellow attack or an armor attack, and they also have a quirk 1, a side quirk 1, a quirk 2, and a side quirk 2, and they also have a plus ultra level 1, 2, and 3, but in this series, we don't look at the normal attack because it's usually just the same punch or kick, and we don't look at the plus ultra level 3 because it's just 3 plus ultra level 1s combined into one big attack. So we only look at the unique things in this series. So yeah, that's how the series works. So let's just dive into this moveset. So Moonfish's quirk is called Blade Tooth. And the way it works is it allows him to basically turn his teeth into blades that he can control. He can extend the blades out, he can retract the blades back in. On top of that, he can use it to hold himself up in the air, he can use it for movement, he can use it obviously for offense because, you know, his teeth are blades, so he can cut the opponent, slice the opponent, pierce the opponent, like, it's a pretty deadly quirk. And like I said, it looks like Moonfish has, like, good control over his quirk because he can use it in multiple ways. And that's why I think his quirk is pretty deadly, and that's why I think he's like one of the deadliest villains in Macadamia, and we're gonna make a moveset around his quirk. So starting off with his quirk 1, I have it labeled Blade Tooth, like the name of his quirk. Um, the way it works is basically he would do a ranged rapid jab by using his teeth to pierce the opponent multiple times by firing the teeth out of his mouth and retracting them back in extremely quickly. Um, obviously this move is extremely good for combos because it's a ranged rapid jab, so, you know, you can use it to, like, link up certain moves and stuff like that. On top of that, because it's a ranged rapid jab, you don't have to be, like, right up against the opponent, like, to use this move. Like, you can be, like, a little bit away from the opponent, not too far away because it's obviously, like, a shorter range, but you get that bonus of it being, like, a ranged rapid jab. So I definitely think this quirk 1 works for him. Moving on to his side quirk 1, I have a labeled Blade Bite. This is where he would bite down on the opponent's arm, and then he would toss them, so you can't follow up after this attack, which makes it good to end a combo with. You can hold the quirk special down and make it a red attack, and something else cool you can do with this attack is, when Moonfish bites the opponent, it will give the opponent a new bleeding effect. What this bleeding effect does is basically it will do damage over a short period of time after the attack is finished. And basically while they have this bleeding effect, um, if they take any more damage, basically by anything like if they get hit with like an attack a combo a plus ultra attack an assist basically any form of damage the bleeding effect will become worse and that small amount of damage that they will be taking will increase so basically i think it's an interesting gimmick because it's basically kind of like guaranteeing that you're getting like a little bit of damage after the attack is over but like if they get hit with anything while they have that like you know um bleeding effect on them it will become worse. On top of that, this move is extremely good because, you know, you can't follow up after it, so it's good to end a combo with. And if you end a combo with this attack, you get that um, bleeding effect on the opponent as well. So you're guaranteeing more damage even after, you know, the combo is finished. Moving on to his quirk 2, I have it labeled Deadly Assault. On the ground, he would basically do just a couple of kicks, which is just good for combos. But in the air, he would flip upside down and he would shoot his teeth towards the ground. And basically his teeth would act like pillars for him to hold him up. Then he would kick the opponent a couple of times and would send the opponent to the ground, which would cause a bounce. So I definitely think that'd be a really cool animation to see because we know Moonfish can do this because, you know, we've seen it in the anime where he would shoot his teeth to the ground and they would hold him up. And I think that would just look really cool in the game. On top of that, it's really good because, you know, in the air, it would send the opponent back to the ground and would cause a bounce. So you can either get a ground combo going if you time it correctly, or you can just continue an air combo with him. So it gives him options for his combos. And I definitely think this quirk 2 would be really, really good for him. And moving on to his side quirk 2, I have it labeled Spinning Blades. 
On the ground, he would jump up and spin with his teeth out, which would knock the opponent into the air. And in the air, he would spin downward with his teeth out, which would drag the opponent downward. So I definitely think this side quirk too works for him as well because, well, first off, in the anime, we've seen him actually spin with his teeth out for movement. So it would make sense because it'd be like a reference to the series. On top of that, this move is really good because you can basically get an opponent into the air from like the ground and you can get the opponent onto the ground from in the air. So you can basically change up his combos, um, which is extremely good. And I definitely think the side quirk too works for him. And moving on to his red attack, I have it where he would basically kind of just kick the opponent. And for his yellow attack, I have it where he would headbutt the opponent. Um, I definitely think even though these moves are pretty basic, it works for Moonfish because, you know, he can't use his arms because of his, like, costume design. So, you know, him kicking the opponent makes sense and him headbutting the opponent makes sense. And I definitely think it'd be pretty cool to see in the game. So that's why I made these his red and yellow attacks. Moving on to his level one, I have it where he would jump into the air and he would shoot some of his teeth down to the ground to hold himself up. Then he would release the rest of his teeth in all different directions and angles. And if the opponent gets hit by any of his teeth, they would take the level one damage. I think this level 1 would be pretty cool to see in the game because just imagine Moonfish just shooting up into the air and firing teeth in all different directions. I think that would look insane. On top of that, we've seen him kind of do that in the anime when he was fighting Bakugo and Todoroki during the training camp arc. So I definitely think it'd be pretty cool to see in the game. And finally, moving on to his plus ultra level 2 animation, I have it where, well first off, the plus ultra level 2 animation has a shadow like background like most of the villains in the game, and the animation would begin with Moonfish slowly walking out of the shadow like background, then Moonfish would fire his teeth out of his mouth towards the ground to push himself upward quickly and hold himself in the air, then he would fire his teeth downwards towards the opponent trying to strike them over and over, the camera then cuts to the opponent who is now trying to dodge the incoming teeth, and as they're dodging, they're starting to realize how fast the teeth are and they're starting to get slashed by some of the teeth injuring them. The camera would then cut back to Moonfish who would retract all of his teeth like the ones that are you know being fired at the opponent and the ones that are holding him up and he would fall quickly to the ground. The camera would then cut back to the opponent who's now injured and trying to recover and as they're trying to recover they would see Moonfish face down on the ground and he would basically use his quirk to push himself back up to stand up. The camera would then cut to Moonfish who was now standing up and then he would fire all of his teeth at the opponent. The camera would then cut to a side view of the opponent who was now getting pierced by most of his um, teeth and the ones that missed would hit the ground which would cause a dust cloud to appear covering the screen as the animation finishes. The animation would then end with um, the dust cloud clearing and Moonfish kneeling over the opponent who is now laying on the ground. Um, so yeah, that is his level 2 animation. I definitely think his level 2 fits him. Like, it just fits how creepy and deadly Moonfish is. Like, him slowly walking out of, like, the shadow, like, background. Him laying, like, face down on the ground and then pushing himself back up with this quirk is definitely really creepy. On top of that, it shows how deadly he is because, you know, of how fast his teeth are moving and, like, the opponent's trying to dodge it and they're realizing how fast the teeth are and they're getting slashed by some of the teeth. And then, um... Like the side view of them getting like pierced by like a majority of like Moonfish's teeth as like the dust cloud starts to appear on the screen because of the teeth that missed. I definitely think it fits Moonfish and I definitely think it's like a really awesome level 2 and that is the level 2 I have for Moonfish. But that is the moveset I created for Moonfish. I definitely think it feels like Moonfish, you know, being able to change up his combos pretty quickly um, from like a ground combo to like an air combo or like an air combo to a ground combo with his quirk specials because, you know, in the series it looks like he has good control over his quirk. On on top of that, you know, giving like the bleeding effect um, would be pretty interesting, like it'd be a really interesting gimmick for Moonfish, and it fits Moonfish because of how his quirk works and stuff like that. And yeah, I just think it's a really interesting moveset. I definitely think it would work for him. On top of that, I think Moonfish would be a pretty interesting character to see in the game. Um, even though we only got to see him for like a little bit, I definitely think he left his mark as like him being like one of like the deadliest villains in Mycadamia, and I think he'd be a really cool addition. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys would like to see a specific character in the series. I'd be happy to try to create a moveset for that character. And if you guys did enjoy, please like and subscribe. That would be really amazing. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs before the end of the year. So if you guys happen to enjoy this video at any time, please like and subscribe. That'd be really amazing. It would help me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Later.